Now what we're going to show here is a piece of the machinery being that is going to be that has already been constructed to satisfy my requirements of the special power system needed to power the flux capacitor. I'm probably one of the only people with a few people in the world that have an electrical system already in place that has it's a six phase system it's not a three phase system but you don't need six phases but this is all misleading now that we've done that shown that part we'll go over here and look at this claim what this machine does is it makes through transformations of components it makes something that's almost 180 degrees appear over 180 degrees now when we're dealing and talking about voltage references in time it's impossible for us to conceive of how two voltages can be over 180 degrees separate in time in fact if it was it should be less than 180 degrees but here is an analogy we've formed a three-dimensional vector system taken from one of the photographs and we have made that 2d vector system into a 3d vector system and this 3d vector system may explain some aspects of how we're getting these very paradoxical readings. Yes, indeed, we're messing with the space time continuum, folks. Yep, yep. That's why I got big generators to do the job right. Now we'll unfold that real quick and show what it looked like before it was folded up. And before it was folded up, you can see the uh, left vector to the right, the green one, and the right uh, red vector uh, representation was almost 180 degrees, but it got transformed into over 180 degrees when we make the transformation. Now then again, how do we make this transformation? Well, welcome to magic square technology what I've been able to do is to apply the principles of a magic square into three dimensions now of course we also have a mathematical curiosity known as magic cubes and I went through a lot of time looking at the possibility of how a magic cube could be formed and I finally found out how to form one and my problem in forming a magic cube was that I wasn't starting out with enough elements and in fact this magic square cannot be formed into a magic cube if it was formed into a magic cube all the numbers would add to 42 which is kind of funny because in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the movie that is, uh, they asked the computer the question, what is the secret of the universe? And they wait and wait and they pop out and it comes out with the answer, number 42. Well, besides all these annex then, I've got a lot of parallels with Nikola Tesla, quite more than we need to mention here. This is all pictures when I was, when we were both 37. There's my first invention. I got started in the 19, late 1980s in copying uh, Newman's model of air core magnetic motor. Made my own. I have a record of that. And um, all these, that, it was four coils that I had then, and eventually I acquired six high induction coils. All of these were stolen. And then when I went on to understand what magic square technology was all about, I went to construct the first models of it and the first models we'll be using 
aluminum square tubing put together into a geometrical shape and it employs the same ideas and concepts that the flux capacitor employs but we're going to leave all this behind for now and get straight to the uh, there was three and there was three further inventions that I'd worked on after this one and of course the flux capacitor I guess is the greatest one but we're going to see here that there are instances where the load can power its own source now people will think that's patently ridiculous there's such a thing as cause and there's such a thing as an effect and the effect can't be feedback loop to the cause well that all depends upon what electrical machinery we're talking about and on the alternator it can be done uh, as I was saying uh, I understood when I first realized how to construct the smallest magic cube in my imagination I saw that it had a sequence of 512 elements to be placed into the cube and then further on in internet inquiries I found out that in fact somebody had beat me to the punch on that mathematical discovery anyways and coincidentally his name was Gustavus Frankenstein from Cincinnati Ohio and he discovered and had this printed in the Cincinnati newspaper in the 1880s I think now we're going to go to uh, what I call the 666 machine and we're going to show you what and why the 666 machine functions we're run out of time again when we form a magic square we can put a mirror on any of the sides and we can put mirrors on any of the corners and we can generate another eight sets of numbers that are also magic squares what this means is some of the numbers can be moved to different locations and some cannot the number five can never be moved from its central location now as we understand then how would I have taken this magic square idea and expanded it into an actual three-dimensional coil system and we'll go here and look we got the sequence of the unified field published by Joseph P. Farrell that particular book has been extremely helpful And I, I would be quoting from the book, but I don't know if there's copyright problems or whether I have to get permission from him to use what's written in that book for my videos. So we won't do that right now until I can get some kind of correspondence with Mr. Farrell. What we have here is a calculator. When we form the magic square, the number of possibilities is 1 through 9 multiplied by itself and we also have to divide by 9 because as we've seen from the mirror analogy there's 9 duplicates what the 666 machine is is taking those possibilities on a 9 coil machine which we have here this 9 coil assembly or the 666 machine is presented as options and the options are when we flip a coin nine different times and look at all the different results we can obtain again we obtain 512 options okay now if we wanted to make each phase structured on each column of these three coils since we have three phases there will be eight different ways to put that combination together on each phase again eight times eight times eight or five hundred and twelve combinations 